like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Wildlife photographers spend ages and hours of anticipation waiting for the perfect second to capture those postcard-worthy shots that are so hard to get. Be it a falcon in midair, antelopes engaged in clashes, or a tiger lurking in the shadows for its prey. Capturing such a scene requires ample preparation and hefty dedication to their craft. But sometimes the subject of their photography, the animals themselves, approach the photographers and catch them by surprise. After all, photographers are not the only ones who are curious, but an animal coming up and personal isn't something that happens very often, so photographers should consider themselves lucky if they're able to take a close-up shot. Well, at least when the animal we're talking about is harmless. It can indeed get dangerous, especially if an apex predator were to come in close to humans. But amazing or terrifying, today we're bringing you the rare encounters of when wild animals surprised photographers. 10 Times Wild Animals Surprised Photographers Number 1. Meerkats in Kalahari Desert some time ago, a BBC crew were filming and documenting a gang of meerkats, who turned out to be friendlier than most animals. Instead of hiding away or attacking, they embraced the presence of humans. The adorable animals didn't seem to mind being captured on camera at all. They mostly carried on with their own activities, hunting prey and playing with each other. It seemed as if the humans were just strange rocks to the meerkats. This was because, having had prolonged contact with observers over the years, the meerkats had become familiar and comfortable with humans. Among them, one was even seen inspecting a crew member's face and even standing on the photographer's head, using it as a vantage point to scan for predators. Since the meerkats were cooperative with the shooting, it was only fair they get something in return. Similarly, one of the little beasts was even using a director's body for shade. Expectantly, in such close range, the documenters were able to get clear shots of the behavior of the small meerkats, which included burrowing, taking shelter behind a tree log, and how they interacted with each other. Number 2. Filmmakers Close Call with a Polar Bear Scottish wildlife cameraman Gordon Buchanan had an encounter with a polar bear, which can only be described as terrifying. The filmmaker, knowing how dangerous polar bears can be, had a protective glass cage to retreat to. When the polar bear approached the man on the white, icy land, he took shelter inside the glass cage and sealed it from the inside. Polar bears are carnivorous. If they've not encountered humans before, and thus don't understand that humans can also be dangerous, they may pursue them for food. That is likely what happened when a female polar bear attacked the cage of the trapped cameraman. She sniffed her target with her amazing nose, assessing the situation. Then she tried to open the barrier from all angles, pushing the cage violently, trying to bite through. Of course, having such a massive apex predator trying to crush through the barrier, Buchanan was terrified. We're pretty sure Buchanan hadn't been planning to be so close to any polar bear. Lucky for him, the bear gave up after realizing she couldn't break through the glass, so she simply lumbered away. Though the bear didn't get what she wanted, the photographer definitely did, and much more. Number 3. Lioness Sniffs Cameraman it was just another day for cameraman Graham Springer, shooting a pride of lions in Okavango Delta, Botswana. He was out alone in his car, maintaining a supposedly safe distance from the pride. But eventually, the lions went around the back of his car, still quite a distance away. Except one particular lioness chose a different route. She went right past the cameraman instead. Now that was a bit more than he bargained for. Even when lions look calm, they are dangerous and unpredictable. Given their immense biting force and strong arms, they can inflict serious injury or even death. Then, a black box at the feet of the photographer caught her eye. From that, within moments, she noticed him standing too and started sniffing him. All the while, the photographer stood still like a statue, careful not to provoke the lioness. Eventually, the lioness went away, seeing him neither as a threat nor as a meal. Guess she didn't want to waste her energy attacking someone for no reason. And thus, the photographer lived to see another day. Number 4. Sheep Headbutts Photographer Another BBC show went slightly differently than planned when a Cameroon sheep attacked the cameraman. As the show was working through narration, talking about a rare sheep, a male of the species appeared, focusing its attention on one of the speakers. He was behaving fine at first, taking food from the speaker's hand, but he was more violent than he looked. He suddenly headbutted the leg of the woman, even though she just fed him. Perhaps it was the sheep's way of thanking her. When he tried to repeat his action, the woman actually lectured the sheep to make him stop. 
as expected, he attacked only moments later, the second time focusing a headbutt on the cameraman's crotch. The cameraman immediately fell to the ground in pain, with the impact of the attack very audible. Ouch! That must have really hurt. Still, the cameraman couldn't help but burst out laughing, as it was all quite a bizarre experience. Number 5. Crocodile Encounter in Costa Rica In Costa Rica, a photographer named David Chow was sitting on a riverbank with his camera focused on the crocodiles before him. There were a few crocodiles visible, which gradually drew nearer to the photographer. But he, being so dedicated to his craft, kept his position. The other people behind him shouted to get his attention, but he was not willing to move. He turned back to gesture to them to stop shouting. But it was at this moment that one crocodile jumped on the riverbank with the intention to bite Chow. He only noticed it moments before and was fortunate enough to make a narrow escape. It was clear that the crocodile was serious, as it wasn't even distracted by a piece of food thrown to it by the onlookers. Not only that, but the crocodile proved it was, indeed, a stealthy predator as it managed to slide under the radar and approach someone only a few meters away. The outcome of the whole incident was determined by the few milliseconds in which the crocodile opened its jaws. Had the cameraman been even a slight slower in reacting, things could have turned out much different and far more tragic. After all, crocodiles do attack and prey on humans when they get the chance. Number 6. Gorillas in Uganda This one is among one of the most wholesome moments caught on camera. In Gorilla Forest Camp near Bwindi National Park southwest of Uganda, photographers got a once-in-a-lifetime fortune. The photographer visited the gorilla habitat to capture photos and video, but received something far more valuable. The gorillas were inquisitive and took an interest in one of the photographers. He sat still, careful not to interrupt the gorilla's investigation. Typically, the gorillas ignore the gawking of human visitors who are required to stay approximately 7 meters away. But this time, the troop of gorillas, which consisted of adults and kids, inspected the photographer closely and even touched him. They gave him lots of pats on the head and even a kiss. In the end, the photographers were able to observe up close babies nursing and youth playing in the presence of the silver back, which was incredibly heartwarming. Number 7. Baby Elephant Seal Cuddles Up to Tourist Most tourists are happy to take a picture with animals, maybe touch them if they are lucky, but one particular tourist was the proverbial chosen one. Adult elephant seals can be very dangerous with huge incisors, weighing up to 2,041 kilograms or 4,500 pounds. A cuddle with an elephant seal would likely result in broken bones. But a Canadian named Charlene Fritz, age 35, enjoyed a special encounter at Snow Hill Island in the Antarctic Peninsula. She was hugged by a baby elephant seal just two months old, small enough to be safe. The baby leaned against the lady and reached out with its mouth for a kiss. It rested its body on her upper torso, as if it were her own baby. The cuddling went on for quite a while, no doubt catching the attention of onlookers who were probably jealous. Number 8. Puffin Inspects Camera Puffins are one of the most distinctive birds, with their webbed toes and large orange beaks. One bold puffin decided to show itself to a photographer. It passed under a fence and curiously approached the photographer. Maybe it was foraging for food, or perhaps it was simply curious. But the camera bag seemed to have gotten its attention especially. It persisted in looking here and there, and eventually lodged itself beneath the man's leg. After a while of satisfying its curiosity, the puffin at length went away, but not after giving the man a video worth remembering. Number 9. Rhino charges at car. Photographers are sometimes too passionate about their jobs. They will often risk injury to get a closer glimpse at a wild animal, but a rhino reminded them that common sense shouldn't be abandoned for passion. An enthusiastic photographer was taking photos of a rhino about half a field's length away. Everything was going fine until the rhino charged towards the car he was in. At this point, it would have been a good idea to retreat, but the photographer was too engrossed in the pictures. He continued clicking photos until the rhino was just about to ram their car. Finally, realizing the jeopardy he was in, he panicked and tried to start the car. The video ends there, so their fate is unknown. But since we have the video footage, they're probably fine. Number 10. Wolves take a closer look at a photographer's camp. A photographer set up camp with camera gear to find out if a group of white wolves had a den. He planned to track their movements as long as he could. 
The wolves, however, had plans of their own. There was a certain wolf that had approached him before, and when it returned a second time, it brought a companion. Both wolves came in close proximity to the photographer, less than 50 meters or 164 feet away. Then they circled the camp, which can typically mean two things. They are either looking for threats or examining if there is a meal to be had. In the photographer's own words, the experience was unnerving. But after reviewing a photo of one of the wolves, the photographer realized the wolf had pups. That meant they would remain in one place and he would most likely get to take pictures of their den after all. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.